What's happening guys? Safety Liner C2 here. I've got an episode of lots of lots today, but I have no idea what I'm going to show you. So I've already shown off some lots that y'all have submitted and I will continue to do so in the future. I've shown off some lots that I have seen in person, some lots that I have found uh, just, you know, screwing around online, looking through bus stuff. And today I am going to just randomly find one. How am I going to do that? You might ask. Easy. This right here is a spreadsheet that says to have every single city and town in America on this. And as you can see, it just keeps on going and going and going and has 28,338 different entries. And thanks to Google, we can just randomly pick one. Now I do want to throw out there just real quick that this spreadsheet is sorted by population. So the higher the number, the less the population. So don't forget, if you have something interesting that you want to submit for Bust Up For Sale or Lots Of Lots, there's a video request form in the description. Just go ahead and throw it in there. All right, I don't know what I'm waiting for, so let's just see where we're going. 9,570. Utwa, Alabama. Utah? Utah? I don't know. Alabama's weird. All right, here is... Utah, that's what we're going to call it, uh, in relation to the rest of Alabama. Let's see if we can find the bus yard. All right, here we go. Found it. Let's see if we can go on Street View and see anything. Okay, well, this is unfortunate. Uh, there's not much you can see back there. There's some C2s over there. There's a CE right there. January 2009 in potato quality. You can't really see much. There's a CE for sure. Otherwise, I can't really make anything out. All right, and uh, that's it for the first one. I guess we're going to have to do some more. Let's just keep on going. 16,988. Detroit, Texas. I think I've actually, I think I've actually looked at this lot online before. All right, we are in Detroit, Texas. Their bus lot is right behind the high school. Let's see what we can find now. All right, we've got some sort of Bluebird, either a International or possibly a CV200, maybe a Freightliner. I, I don't know. Can't really make it out because there's no good front end shot. A Thomas Freightliner, another Thomas Freightliner, some sort of either Crown by Carpenter or Carpenter, not sure. Uh, a International or Amtran FE, something, I'm going to take a guess and say that's an FS65 right here, another 3800, and some sort of International over here. And back over here is a Carpenter Classmate, the Type A. Alright, it appears that this Bluebird is a 3800, and it also looks like there's a C2 back there hidden. You can't really make anything out in potato quality. I think this is an FS65, but that's about all I can make out here. All right, let's look at another one and hope we find something a little more interesting this time. 17,900. Let's see. Kellogg, Iowa. Oh, there's not going to be anything here. All right, as suspected, Kellogg had absolutely nothing there. Super tiny town. So I found the neighboring town, which is Newton, Iowa, and thankfully I was able to find their lot. All right, starting over here, we have got a Thomas Minnow Tour with a front wheelchair lift and a CE right here. Also, notice that the rims on the CE are yellow, so I'm suspecting that that bus was originally not from Iowa. We can get a pretty good view of the side of the lot. This is July 2018. There is two Bluebird 3800s, a few CEs. Notice that there are actually two CEs with yellow rims around them, and they both appear to have rear stop signs as well, compared to the CE next to it, which has neither of those. Here's a couple of Bluebirds. Can't tell if they're Type C's or Type D's, so don't know. Uh, some Thomases, some more C's, and another Thomas down there on the end. On the back row, there's some C2s. Right here appears to be some sort of either International or Amtran. Some Bluebirds, some more C's, and some more C2s, and two Bluebirds on the end. All right, check it out. The CEs on the end actually do have dual stop signs over here. October 2011, you can see that there's a Bluebird 3800 with a jackknife door right next to a first-gen Vision. You can see the Vision a little bit better right there. 
Right next to the Vision is the CV200. September 2011, we can confirm that we did see either some sort of Amtrain International or early IC. Coming back to the front of the building in October 2016, we can see that the Minotaur was a GMC. October 2011, there appears to be a few CV200s here, and that's about all we can make out here. Moving on, let's see what we got. 23,685, 85 Pine Village, Indiana. All right, this is Pine Village. There are three buses parked behind the elementary school. That's all we can see here. 17,265, Sycamore Hills, Missouri. All right, so it looks like Sycamore Hills is maybe a subdivision or something, but we're in uh, St. Louis Metro. All right, so the closest thing to that is this first student lot that is completely empty just the way that it should be. It looks like they closed up shop between 2016 and 2017 in this location, just based off of what I've seen on Street View. So there's an HDX, a CE, a few Collins in here. There's an EF back there, a Minnow Tour over here, a few CEs up here. There's another Minnow Tour. Here's a Thomas right here. There's an FS65, a CE, a first gen CE, and another CE. The row in the back has another first gen CE, two FS65s, and a Amtran 3800. September 2012, there's some first gen CEs over here, and second gen CE, some more second gen CEs over here. Take a look at that super small turning signal. Something is not right there. August 2012, a CE HDX, uh, some sort of type D right there. I can't make that out. An Amtran RE, an ICRE, beautiful, an ICFE, and a TC2000 right there. What appears to be a Thomas 3800, and there's a Collins right behind it. Maybe another TC right here. All right, and that's what we can make out there. 14,000 Adam, Chama, New Mexico. All right, I was unable to find Chama's lot. It's literally in the middle of nowhere. Uh, everything is in potato quality here, so we're just going to skip this one. 8,352. All right, Marmac, North Carolina. All right, finally, something that looks like it might have potential. North Carolina, while the specs absolutely suck, they generally do have a few older things, and we can do 3D view here. All right, April 2019, starting off with a first-gen CE. Take a look at the four ways, but it is an activity bus. Uh, otherwise, it looks like we have got some C2s over here, a Vision, uh, an old Thomas 3800 activity bus, some FS65s right there might be an old Ford Thomas, can't exactly make that out, and a whole bunch of FS65s in the back. All right, 3D view isn't really helping us here all that much. You can make out a C2 for sure, Thomas is, uh, otherwise it is kind of trash. <laughs> Check out this blue bus right here. Maybe an activity bus or some sort of like county promotion bus or something. Again, as we go further back in the lot, kind of hard to make stuff out. I want to say that this right here is a Vista. That kind of fits everything. There's another C2 here for sure. All the way in the back of the lot is really what I'm curious about. What these five buses are right here. Can't make anything out on them but they're definitely sitting back there and I really want to know what they are. All right, we're just going to take a look at one more. Let's hope that this is a good one. 27,824, probably not a good one. Daly, West Virginia, Randolph County. Adam has mentioned this one to me before. Thankfully, Adam had already sent me a list of most of the bus locations in West Virginia and thankfully this one was on there. And never mind, we're not able to get in here. What the heck? Okay, we can make out some C2s right here. Maybe a CE, a few more C2s. So I think now we're just going to go to Adam's Flickr and confirm that that's what this actually is. Okay, as soon as I opened up Adam's album full of Randolph County buses, I immediately remembered why Randolph County is in my mind. They had these Bluebird Freightliners there. And check out that Bluebird 3800 behind it. That's a sharp looking Bluebird 3800. Adam tried to buy this Freightliner right here. Ended up not winning. And uh, I tried to buy a Bluebird 3800. Well, I was very interested in buying a Bluebird 3800 just like that. Uh, and 
much, much like him, it ended up not working out. There's a few first gens here, a shorty CE, an international CE, and a few C2s, and just kind of an overall view of the lot. Okay, there you go. Make sure and go check out Adam's Flickr. I'll link it down below so you can check out the album if you're interested. Okay, we'll go ahead and wrap it up. Don't forget that if you find something that you want to share with me for either Bus Stuff for Sale or Lots of Lots, throw it in the video request form in the description of the video. The more interesting it is, the more likely I am to feature it. So yeah, guys, that is going to do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Always appreciate it. Make sure you subscribe right down here. It's a magical red button that says you are now subscribed to Safety Liner C2. Make sure you comment up here, down here, over here, or over here. I don't know where they put it, I don't care where they put it. Make sure you also give this video a thumbs up, or next time I randomly choose one, it, absolutely nothing is going to pull up. And come on, we, we don't want that. Uh, make sure you also share this video with a friend, show it to your mom, show it to your dad, show it to a guy on a random street. I don't care, don't let anything happen to you. So yeah guys, it's going to do it for this video, and thanks for watching.